let us continue playing Motorsport Manager, the sit rep. Balcazar could potentially be the champion at the end of this race. Potentially. It's in her hands, really. If she wins and neither Surikov, Sharp or White are within 10 points at the end, champion. That's unlikely. But it could happen. Either way, if she scores well and Surikov and Sharp don't, then it's going to maximise our chances of getting a result in the final race of the season. The team championship looks a bit more certain. And I emphasise a bit because it could still go horribly wrong. We could still, I think, end up third, though it would be tricky from here. 21 points. The most the team can score is 18. And if the next two positions down, that would then be 11. So 18, 11, 11, 18. Yeah, so we could still technically finish um, behind both Panther and Scuderia. But if we can score... Basically, if Scuderia, if Ferrari, Scuderia, Ferrari, whatever we want to call them, don't outscore us by two points, and if Panther don't outscore us by three points... We will finish ahead of them in the table. If that if it happens both for some reason, either we have the most points or whatever, we will emerge as team champions. So we got it all to play for in Rio. Qualifying is going to be in the wet. That could throw up some interesting situations, but we'll see how that goes. Unfortunately, the front wing we're designing won't be ready in time, so we're going to be stuck with what we got. I'm not going to answer any of this. We're going to reject the interview. And we're going to go straight on with things. Balcazar, was that a refocus? Oh, that's what we want. A refocus just before we go into this race. So there we go. Exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, you're still addicted to video games, so you have lost a bit of that focus, but... Well, that means you got a potentially really good qualifying session going. That was a 4.8 in your last race. 4.8. We could have done a lot better than that. A lot better. Actually, it'd be interesting to do the comparison here. Let's just go to this. So, yeah, Balcazar has been top. She's world championship position, obviously, higher. Points higher, though Barnaby has been on form massively here. And that is the one plus he's got. He's ha been more consistently on form. He has a, yeah, 20 consistency rating. Though his stats are starting to degrade, I've noticed. If he's gone down smoothly some feedback, then his stats are starting to actually dip because of his old age. They haven't. They should They should technically be starting to dip. Either way, that's happening, so we'll ignore it. Gaston Renu is just sitting there at the back going, grumble, 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 champion. Um, and then we go into this. So five podiums to three. Balcazar has won 12 out of 13 qualifying battles. Um, outraced eight out of five. Two wins to one. Two months left on Balcazar's contract. We may have to... We will probably renew that. Or at least would if we were going on for another season. Anyway. That is enough rambling. Car repair is now complete. So, focus. Engine, suspension, rear wing. So, engine, performance upgrades. Rear wing, performance upgrades. Suspension, performance upgrades. Yeah, not a lot else I can really do here, is there? Um, yeah, we're using both of those parts. The only part I guess we might want to change is the brake, but again, we're not continuing this season, so we'll keep on as is. Pit stop training. Oh dear God, yes. Yes. Pit stop training. How long have we been asking for this sort of thing? Let's just find our staff now. How long have we been asking for this? So yeah, 15 pit stop stat now, 14 for you. We've needed that for a long, long time. <laughs> Wind tunnel complaints again. It's always something with you, isn't it? 35% chance of rain. Everything is looking great, so the race should go well. Pretty good track for tyre wear. Okay, okay, so we should be able to make the tyre last, which isn't really a concern of ours, unless we want to try and go for a two-stop. 
a one stop rather or two. Not sure what's beneficial here. 30, 28 laps. Let's keep going. Don't really have a lot else to do, do we? So in we go. Podium is doable for Rossini? Yeah, probably. Oh, because I'm driving too well. You just say the same things over and over again, and we know it's meaningless. Anyway, we'll go with this. We will pack the Ultrasofts in because we are most likely going to be wanting to run those, but we'll keep a nice stack of Super Softs in reserve just in case. Set up then. So it should probably be no difference. Um, and in fact, there isn't, so we'll continue on. What could Barnaby White have done in the same equipment is an interesting question. But one we will think about for next season, which we won't be doing, as I've mentioned. We are ending it this season, especially if we win. I mean, if, we, if we'd if have lost, there might have been an argument. There might have been some convincing needed to go to Season 7. If we could actually win this season, it would just be ridiculous and amazing. Yeah. And raining. Well... Um, it's definitely not an inter-wet looking at that. It's a full wet lap, so we'll do that. Car setup then for Rio. We got 15.5. I guess this means we focus on... Yeah, minus 2.8. 63, 63. I guess this just means we focus ourselves onto race pace as much as possible. And in fact, that's what I'm looking at the wrong one. I was looking at the wrong one. That is extremely bad of me. Um, so Rio is 19.2. 2.69.88. 2, 88. And yeah, wet tyres. Because it's definitely going to be wet tyres by the time we get out there. So 15.5. 25.5. 19.2. 88. And, of course, wet tyres. Okay. So, real focus here is going to be on race pace. So, let's make sure we are doing that. Yep. Race trim. And race trim. The wets might be incidentally good, but I we don't have a rain guarantee. It would be nice if it did, because we're not going to get any rain in Dubai. And we might just be able to pull off enough points to get a championship if we're lucky. But for now... This is a fi this is fine. Track already soaked. Handling feels awesome. Hopefully it's not going to be too far off because I'd like to keep these out and just make sure we get our race trim. Uh, we might bring them in once it goes down to Interwet, which it will do shortly. Which might be a reasonable enough excuse to just bring them in anyway. Meanwhile, Balcazar and White kind of trading lap times here. They're not going too much. Um, of course, now Pierre Gay Surikov are going to improve this time. Sharp, much faster than us. Yeah, four temps away from each other at the moment, which is about what we'd expect. And also, Balcazar is the rain master. She's getting miscellaneous benefits here. Yeah, let's bring them both in at this point because the wet tyres are going to be off at this stage. And we got ourselves to about halfway down that track, so we can go for... Do we just go straight onto the main race tyres here? I think we do. Okay, handling excellent, but the speed isn't there. So we'll do a slight tweak to the downforce, probably just raise it up to 26 then maybe click the gear ratio down towards acceleration slightly. See how that goes. Race trim and ultra softs. Which probably do 11 laps, which out of 28, was it? It's going to make that an interesting little setup decision there. Okay, 21, so not as good for white. And both the handling and... That are out. So let's go two clicks down. 
and we'll try a click up. We'll also increase the downforce here slightly as well. 26.5 and we'll see how that goes. You are also going to go out on the ultra soft. More of a sighting lap this one and obviously we're still focusing on race trim. And while the track is is too damp, we actually will be getting no um, real benefit from these. But as the track dries out, there we go. We're now on the right tyres again. So interesting to see how far we can get into our ultra soft strategy here. Because we're not going to be able to do any qualifying stints. Handling's much better. Good. Race two. And if we're the only people on ultra soft um, running, that might actually give us a benefit for qualifying. Obviously, we're setting purple lap times because, you know... In fact, White's gone faster than Balcazar, but that might be traffic related. <laughs> Barge out of the way there. So, Balcazar at 126.3... 125.6. These seem like good times. It's a shame this isn't... Um, isn't qualifying. Okay, so that's race three almost gotten. So I'm actually going to bring both drivers in at this point. So race two is gotten. Not much time to do much else, but I can have at least one setup check. That seems okay. So still great. Didn't over change much, I guess. And that's an improvement. So let's then do a tweak and a nudge. That's it. That's going to be it. We're in the middle of our two great points. So we'll see. And we will change you to qualifying. I, I really doubt we're going to get a quali one, but you never know. Okay, speed balance is still only good for you. But it is overall an improvement. So handling is exactly where we wanted it. That, though, is not. So that's good. That's good. Let's go in the middle of that for a guess. Maybe go to there. Maybe to there. And I don't know whether I changed to quality or not. We'll find out in a moment. We did not. We are still on race. Okay, fine. Or at least we're getting some more running on the ultra soft. We might get that to level two, which might give us a good benefit here. We're the only ones who've done any running on dry tires. Thirty odd seconds to go. That's gonna be too little, too late here. So. Perfect gear ratios, we're finished, so we're not going to get that Ultra Soft 2, but it's also going to be a wet quality, and we know this, so hmm. that's where it goes to full wet, I guess. There we go, we've managed to max out our settings between the two drivers, somehow. Also, because it's a wet qualifying session, I'm going to be doing the odd thing of actually taking part of the session. So here we are into damp. It's going to get wetter. In fact, it's going to hit full wet not too long after we start. So I think what we want to do here is wait and see. So 96. So this is, strictly speaking, a better setup. We'll stick with that. And yeah, inters. And that's fine for you. And enters. Now we don't know whether there'll be a dry period in this race or not, so we will take qualifying. So importantly, we're not going to go out what during this first wave. Going to speed time up for this one. It'll be interesting who actually does go out. Piergay Surikov do go out as it goes to full wet. See, it's going to ease off. Yeah, we're just sitting in the pit lane because I want this to get out of the wet phase. This may not actually affect their running here, but 
Oh, I noticed a lot of drivers have gone on to wets. A lot of drivers are on wet tyres right now, and that's probably beneficial right this moment, but... I'm thinking here, we are gonna go... Alright, here's my thinking. We leave now, it's definitely gonna get drier and drier, it's still gonna be into dry, but... I'm thinking this is enough. So out you go. Out you go. And auto on, auto on. Might change this in a moment, but... I've always got a wet runner in front of you. You need to clear that. Unless, of course, he's on an attack lap, in which case... Uh, problems. Okay. Um, white auto off. You are massively overheating, sir. Not be doing this at speed free. Perfect, good. Okay, we'll take that. Auto on and cool them off. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Full speed. Let's see what we can do here. We got a we got a full run at this. This is about as good as it's gonna get. Purple for white. Purple for Balcazar. Oh, we timed this well. The only question is, will it go to full dry? Because if it does, then this is a compromised lap. But if it doesn't, this is us starting potentially. Okay, white fastest. Balcazar second fastest. Is it gonna go to dry? Because if not, we are 1 and 2. The only question, I guess, is these guys who are on the wet tyres currently. And will it improve? Because if it gets wetter, then I think that's it. We've won. I just need to see a spike of rain now. Spike of rain and we're pole. But we're seeing people go out on the inters at this. Yes, the rain's going up. The rain's actually going up. Who's on laps now? Our main rivals, Sharp, Becker, Sylvander, Rodriguez, are all still in the pit. Surikov, Piergay, are still in the pit. I don't think they're going to get out in time. In fact, I don't even think this is worth sending out White or Balcazar right now. I think we got one too. Gonzalez, Ingel, though, have just gained two positions there. So people finishing laps now are going really quick. Okay, Rodriguez, Sharp on their outlaps. There's a few people on outlaps. Surikov's down to 7th. Our main rivals are down, and I think the starting laps is it's going to get too wet. I think we've just gone pole 2nd on the race that we could potentially win the championship at. Look, Surikov down in 10th. 10th. Oh, Blunt Hamilton. They're two who would potentially be good cars against us, but Balks are still faster. And now it's wet, so I don't imagine they're going to improve much. Rodriguez, fastest first sector, though. Where's Rodriguez? How are you doing? There we go. No, she's lost time. Lost a lot of time, actually. And he's stuck behind a driver. Rodriguez, 15th. Sharp. Just... Okay. This may not matter <laughs> in an odd sort of way. Balcazar still needs to get a good start. But if Balcazar gets a good start can move away from Blanc Hamilton, who should not be as quick as us. If White, who is our power starter, makes that opening move. Balcazar on pole. And that's a lot of money coming in as well for the last race that we can't spend on anything. It's a shame I can't build that weather sensor in time. Oh jeez, that was so good for us. So, so good. Ten percent always helps. Interesting. Top two drivers, Balcazar and Surikov, set to resume hostilities. 
but yeah. Okay, pole position. Balcazar, we are going race trim and ultras. Race trim and ultras is definitely the order of the day here. So, no reason to really quibble about that setup. We're just going to go ultras off for the performance boost, ultras off for the performance boost. The only drivers who have this, because nobody else did ultras in testing. All out attack for one lap. Now, most of our main rivals are very far back on the grid. Very far back on the grid. And in fact, Sharp is on ultras. But he's the only one of the back lot who is. Pierre Gay, Surikov. Surikov and Sharp really are the two we need to worry about. Yeah, we're just going to go full attack off the line. Hopefully, White can clear Blanc Hamilton. And then we'll just try and race away from the start. So strategy-wise, I guess we are going to be aiming for the two-stop. Um, no, the one-stop, rather. Because we can do... How many laps can we do? Tires will do 11 laps. So we could go 11 soft. So we could try this. Go the ultra soft soft tactic. It might be too slow in the mid in late game. But if we got enough for pace at the start, that'll be fine. If we end up going ultra, ultra, ultra with Balcazar from the front and can make that work, I guess that might be faster. It just depends. We might spend some of that time in the back of the pack. Nevertheless, we need to start and we need to get some distance. So that is the plan at the start. So from pole... From fourth, Balcazar, White. Good start required here. That was not a good start, Balcazar. White's made an okay one, though. White's up in second. A third, rather. Balcazar, what happened? You had one job. I suppose Blanc isn't that much of a threat in terms of things, but I'm just looking down the order and noting Sharp is already up to eighth. Eighth. Sharp up to 6th. That's an insane start. Okay, we're going to keep Balcazar on full attack, but we're actually going to ease off for White already. Sharp up to 5th. So Sharp's pole position did nothing, effectively. The good news is he's the only rival who's up there, and he is slightly further back on Balcazar, but Balcazar now could really do with getting past Blanc. You're in a much better car. You're refocused. Come on. Let's get this done. Overtake for White, who now has Sharp behind. Also, you're turning your tyres up now. Come on. Need to get this to work. Tries has gone dark, but it's not happening yet. Come on. Point three. You've got to get part this done, Balcazar. You have got to get this done. I cannot afford another lap behind this guy. It's slowing our pace up. We've got to keep going. White is really just going to make it past you in a moment. And I can't really blame him. Because that's a sharp right behind here. Four wide. Come on. What overtake. Alright. White's going to have a go then. White then. On the more conservative strategy here. And Balcazar's has already churned her tyres up. Medium, medium. Medium, medium. Okay, Balcazar, that was not what we needed. You had one job. You had to start well, didn't make it. You couldn't get past Blanc. And there we go. Balcazar finally attacking back. Not able to make that work against Sharp and lost time. We're two seconds down on Blanc, who is not a fast car. All right. We badly need to conserve these tires now, though. Conserve, conserve. So how do we even play this now? Because now we got other drivers to worry about. Rodriguez behind us now. White in. Needs to put a... No, we need to go overtake here. We need to have this. Blanc is just getting away from us here. And he should not be doing this. His tyres are destroying themselves at a much faster rate than ours. That's the one plus point going for us, I guess. And yeah, I know I'm burning more fuel on white here, but I feel I have to. We need to stay ahead of sharp if we can. Especially if we can conserve our tyres a little better. 
Alright, back up high for a bit. I know this is going to give Sharp a chance, but... If you do a couple of corners like this, then... Just get the tyres cooled down. And I think that's going to be critical for Balcazar as well now. Okay. Nearly a lap down. Let's go conserve neutral. And let's go conserve neutral for you as well. So Balcazar is down to fifth. Has been overtaken by the soft runner. Barnaby White now defending second place. The good news is we're now gaining back our time on... Gaining back our time on Blanc here, who is now having tyre issues, and he's going to start being overtaken here. Yeah, come on. All right. Let's push the button. White not able to make that stick. And also, I just noticed Balcazar is down a position as well. How long can you keep this up for? You can keep it up, but you can both keep it up for another lap. Or two. I think Balcazar, though, has to come in this lap. So, White, conserve medium here. Our tyres are better shape. We can go a little longer. But only if we can keep this up. 1.1 second to sharp. It's like such a great start early on. <laughs> such a great start. I'm hoping Blanc now gets stuck in traffic. Because I hate him. Okay, here we go. 2.4 is the gap. I think Balcazar's going to have to pit at the end of this lap. Pit for a set of... What do we want here? 17 laps to go. No weather on the horizon. Do I just go soft and hope? Or do I go super soft with the aim to have an ultra soft run after that? Or do I just go ultra soft now and go for a... Since we're going to have to stop twice anyway if we go... For anything other than the soft tyre here. I think we might go for another ultra soft set here. Fast pit stop from Balcazar. We've had pit stop training. We hope that it will make a difference. Meanwhile. In front. White looking once again. And we're probably going to have to try and go another lap here. But we will go back. At okay, so there's, there's his pit. Downside is, though, we've now got another driver who's just going to interfere with our race at this point. I can serve. Nope, not even. Oh, we were able to make that stick. That's fine. Back to there. Back up medium. And straight past. Okay. It's a good stop. And that now means we can go medium, heart, medium overtake for Balcazar for a little bit. Because we're in the middle of Piergay and Surikov. Meanwhile, White will pit. And I think what we might try with White here... Okay, what did people go on? Sharp went back on the Ultra, so he's going to have to stop again. If White can make these do 17 laps... Then I think he can win off of this. That is ultimately going to be my, my game plan now. So let's just see how this goes. Okay, in he goes. Now we know Rodriguez is going to have a lap or two. But we are going to be on much better tyres. Much faster tyres. Where is Sharp? Sharp is going to get out in front of us. I'm sure of it. Especially as I think we just had a problem. Yes, we did. I was looking at the wrong driver. That's what I did. That's, that made that was an error. Right. Well, I'll stick to medium high. We'll go to medium neutral here, and we'll have White continue on from there. Blanc is so far ahead of us. <laughs> it's by stopping early. So Balcazar being aggressive, I guess. And trying to make this work now, really. So let's go overtake push. Let's actually go for a push now. We know we can go deeper into this race than these other guys. And our tyres are better. Tyres are better and newer. And I might as well go and punish Blanc for daring to challenge us early on. And hopefully actually get past him this time. Should have known. Should have known. 
All right, full overtake. Come on. Up into fifth. Only sharp ahead of us on the right tyres. And there we go. Sweep around the outside. That is how it is done. Fisher in front is on basically destroyed tyres. Shouldn't challenge us here, but is going to challenge us. Oh, for God's sake, Balcazar! Alright, conserve medium then. Let's just hold it off. Also, we need to conserve with white now. He's up to six. He's only 14.2 off the pace at the moment. It is increasing, but, you know, can make this work. Yeah, come on. Get past here, because if we d we're on slow, we're on faster tyres now. Come on. Balcazar, please. One time. One time. Okay, made it. So now, just sharp massively ahead of us. Conserve medium then. Might even go back up medium now that they're going to slow each other up a bit. Just got to mind that gap to the front a little if we can. Keep our tyres fresh if we can. Ten laps to go. In fact, we could go early. We can go for an early pit stop. Possibly throw something out there. We know Piaget is going to have to stop soon. And we know we're going to have to make this last for about two laps. So, okay. Neutral high. So we've done what we can there. White's actually back onto fuel parity there. And now Balcazar can actually stop at the end of this lap. So double overtake. We're going to do a bit of a gambling thing here. And pit at the end of this lap for our set of Ultrasofts. Provided there are no maladies in the pit lane, this is probably the best way to do it. So we'll be on fresher tyres before Sharp does. He'll have better tyres at the end. That's the prop. That's the payoff here. But this does mean Piergate is not going to gain any distance on us. Okay. So Marcus are into the pits. Slow neutral. In fact, Piergate pitted the same lap, so that's fine. So we're on the same strategy there. Balcazar's out in seventh on fresh tyres. And now it's about what distance we can make up. I think looking at white, we're not going to catch up to sharp on that pace. Not at the moment. However, we have hit fuel parity, so let's go pushing. High can serve. Balmazar definitely on the faster strategy, it has to be said. But Lippinen and Blanc likely to be caught and overtaken in the near future. 30 seconds is the gap right now. And there you go. That's how you do it, Balmazar. That's how you overtake somebody on the wrong tyres. Sharp pits, unless he has a major problem in the pit lane. He didn't. He's immediately out of it. So, he's not on the fastest of tyres, though. And White is about to overtake Sylvander. That's going to help our team championship out. I think we might have the team championship sewn up here. It depends what the point orders were. Okay, Becker, personal best. Where's Becker? In 18th place. Okay, Balcazar is through. Let's go conserve on those tyres just to make sure of it. But I think it's getting to the stage we're not going to catch. Not going to catch um, Blanc at the way we're going. And I think his tyres will definitely go to the end. What's the gap then? Six seconds to Blanc. We're third and fourth. I'm, it, Balcazar might be able to do something actually. She can keep the attacking pace up and doesn't warm the tyres too much. De Graff pit. Sylvander's now in fifth. Who's actually a threat? Um, Sirikov is the next sort of soft runner and we're going to beat that team. Panther were one of the teams we had to beat to win the championship. We're doing that. In fact, even at this point, we're scoring enough points that I think it's going to be fine. We just might swap, try and swap white with... Um, with that, so we will allow teammate through. We will, however, go high because you never know. We might be able to get something. High, high for both drivers. 
And I think Balcazar can get back to normal, neutral for four laps here. It's a bit of a charge, but I think we got enough in it to make this work. Meanwhile, somebody is going to struggle to make it round at the moment. And that might cost us some positions here, but we've got such a gap to sixth. Unfortunately, I can't take it, so... Let's go conserve low for white at the moment. Let's let Balcazar through. Good. Neutral conserve. Or high conserve, rather. Probably high backup, actually, just to be on the absolute safe side. Okay. So our driver's up to third here. If we can get second, I think she'll still be top of the championship. No, we really need Sharp to either not finish or, you know, not make it. And that's not going to happen. Here, there is Sylvander in fifth. Two laps still to do on tyres that have just now hit that point. So Blanc pitted. Okay, that's helpful. That puts us up to second third. We're now in a... This is now enough points. And that means that Balcazar could do with actually getting a bit of a move on here. Let's go high, high for both drivers. I think we may lose fourth. That's the one problem with this at the moment. I think we will lose fourth. Blanc is going to chase down on those ultra softs. I doubt he's going to figure, but last lap then. White's now trying to eke out whatever advantage we can get from these tyres. They're going cold as well, I've just noticed. Well, neutral... High it is. They don't make it to the end. I'm just working out where... Yeah, you might as well go to neutral. I think you're safe in second. Because whether White can keep the points here. Because I think if he keeps the points... They're going to score 15. We're going to score 14. So that's enough. We, we, are the, we are the team champions. If White stays in front. I've got so little overtake button, but... Ah, darn it. Well, I think that switch there means we are not the team champions. Balcazar, however, I think is going to somehow remain in contention for the championship. Oh, dear. Well, the Ferraris are too good. That's all I can say now. The Ferraris are too good. Barnaby White ran out of fuel, but we knew that. Oh, that was a good race. In fairness, Sharp just immediately going into six. Valkas are not being able to overtake Blanc. Ugh, that was... you. If you, she'd have overtaken Blanc, had that gap at the front, I think we could have actually won this race. Or at least been a lot closer. Oh, well, let's hope one of them cheated. Piergay did. Lost six places. Where were you originally then? Not sure that matters, because I think we definitely had them pegged in the team chat battle anyway. So yeah, there we are. Balcazar, 72. Sharp, 70. Two points. Basically, if Sharp finishes on the podium, we need to finish one place behind, and I think he'll win on wins, actually. So if Sharp finishes on the podium, we have to finish ahead. If he doesn't finish on the podium, if he finishes fourth or lower, we just have to finish one position behind him. The team championship is sewn up by one point. I need, actually, no, I need two points. Two out of the last race, and we have achieved the team championship. But we go to a finale where there are things to be settled. If only it would rain in the desert. If only it would rain in the desert. Balcazar picks up the morale boosting podium. We pick up 2.1 million, hitting both targets this weekend. And we have a new front wing for the final race. Is it a front wing circuit? I don't think it is, actually. No, Dubai is not a front wing circuit. Still, it's been built, so we'll live with it. Is there anything we can build that'll get done in time? Uh, could build a new rear wing. Could even take that just for a thing, but we'll go for that. Um... High speed, high speed corners, 40, plus reliability, 25. Take that as well. High speed corners, plus 20. Uh, 
Risky part for the last race of the season. Plus one other legendary components. Other is lower the build time to make sure we can definitely increase the reliability. This might end up being a backup part because, of course, we have a um, legendary component over there. The only one we could take that's actually legendary is the reliability thing, and I, might, I think this is better. And also, with the 25 reliability, I realize I can get more points out of this, but the plus 25 reliability means we could actually use this before the race. So, we're going to build. We're going to build. We already have the best rear wings, so, you know, whatever we can do to give ourselves a little bit of boost, we're going to do. So, I'm going to say, until the next time.